back to the Google I.O. Developers Conference in Mountain View, California. With a spotlight on hardware this year, Google CEO Sundar Pichai announced a new artificial intelligence supercomputer chip looking to transform the search giant into an AI-first company and a real cloud computing contender. We caught up with Scott Huffman, Google's Vice President of Engineering, and asked just what this supercomputer chip means for Google. Well, we're really excited to be able to have the computing power to be able to really harness uh, all of the newer machine learning algorithms. One of the things that uh, is exciting about these new algorithms is they're very, what in computer science terms we talk, call highly parallelizable. So you can do many computations at once uh, and get very high scale and process a lot of data that way. Uh, and the new chips are really designed to do that from the ground up. Uh, so really designed to to do the kinds of machine learning processing that we're using a lot of. Digital assistants are all the rage now, but Google Home sales are still dwarfed by Amazon Echo. How is the Google Assistant different from Siri, different from Alexa or Cortana? So one thing that we're very excited about with the Google Assistant is the ability to actually go across all the different devices and contexts in your life. Um, so if, as you go from your uh, house to your car and your commute to out and about on your day, uh, we want the same assistant to really be available to help you in all those different places. Uh, and so today we're really excited to deploy the assistant out to all the iPhones uh, and make it available to iPhone users in the US. Uh, and we're in the process of rolling out, of course, across all the Android phones, Google Home, Android Auto, Android TV, Android Wear. So really making that, that uh, assistant always available to you no matter what you're doing. Now, what is it gonna take for voice technology to actually improve? Because you know I've used all of these devices and in my own experience, it's still rather crude. Well, so, uh, so we think we're making a lot of progress, uh, but one of the big things, and, and Sundar talked a little bit about it today, is really using uh, broad scale data and neural algorithms in order to uh, to improve the technology. Uh, so we've been actually pretty significantly overhauling kind of all of our algorithms under the hood every couple years to take advantage of the new computing power that we have uh, and new and larger amounts of data. And every time that we do that, we see a pretty big jump uh, in improvement. One of the things that we did with as we worked on bringing Google Home to the market that was really uh, an exciting thing is because Google Home needs to work at, at a distance, I might be standing far away, there's a lot more noise in the, in the microphone signal. Uh, and so by adding essentially artificial noise into our training data, we were able to have our neural network actually be able to recognize uh, things at a, at a far distance away. Uh, so these kinds of algorithms are very powerful uh, for kind of shaping recognition in different environments. What is one place that you see the assistant going where it hasn't gone yet? Today, we are we're enabling a voice conversation into a great set of functionality, but that uh, you know that users are doing sort of the obvious things on every device, but I don't think we fully realized yet the vision of having any kind of conversation you want, uh, having it really be understood, uh, and then having the assistant tap into all the different services in the world in a seamless way to do that. That's really the vision. Uh, and so I think we have a long way to go. One example that we showed some beginnings of today that we're really excited about uh, is something we call Google Lens. Uh, and this is just the realization that, you know, speaking out loud is great, but when I'm talking with my friend, a lot of times what I do is point at something. And then we talk about that and we talk about what we see. Uh, and with Google's advances in uh, computer vision and computer uh, kind of image understanding, the assistant is actually going to begin to have that capability over the next few months that I'll be able to open my camera, my viewfinder, uh, and then begin to talk to the assistant about what I see. Uh, and so we're really excited about, about that.